Hi, this is Ujwal here, Professor Ujwal Chaudhary. Um, I am from the field of, from the academic field of uh, media and communication, have been a practicing uh, media professional, then came into academics across many institutions, many states, and a few countries as well over the last 20 years. Um, today we are face to face with a very interesting situation. While I was coming for this studio, for this shoot, a technical friend of mine had said that there is no future of the script writers, right? Now that artificial intelligence has come, I say it, it's just the opposite. The script writer has already uh, come into a situation where he can perform even better if he wants than what he was doing earlier. And he can perform better, produce more and with quality, and also have more time at his disposal. Because many of the repetitive work in any form of media function is going to be taken over uh, by uh, artificial intelligence and to an extent by automation as well. So how does AI work? AI uses algorithms to process data, identify patterns, and learn from it. So whatever in advertising, public relations, and other fields that we have been doing through human efforts of market survey, collecting information, going through uh, you know, statistical study of those data and all, now what we spend for s on seven days can be done in less than few hours by the use of artificial intelligence. So big data and data analytics, this is another big area of support to uh, media and communication through AI. AI can continuously work without breaks and process a large amount of data quickly. So uh, media works on tight deadlines. Time is, every minute is precious at certain moments. And there AI is of great help in quickening the process. The goal of AI is to stimulate human intelligence and understand complex problems and concepts. It can break, for example, AI is greatly useful for identifying what we call as false content. And we name it falsely as fake news. It's false content. Now, false content can be broken into small visuals, and reverse imaging can be done. And AI can ex exactly tell whether the, uh, the video or the, the visual is fake or true, whether what it claims to be is right or wrong. Various technologies are used to achieve this goal. The other aspect is that while we write, while we shoot, at many points of time, we are under shortage of time. And we write it fast. We are not sure of the right grammatical way of presenting. AI has brought Grammarly was there. Now there is rephrase, there is quillboard. And it can actually rephrase in that way. Uh, the, the AI tool itself is called rephrase. It can actually bring the content in a much better packaged manner. <laughs> Script writers have also got AI tool by, uh, by which the short divisions and the audio and the video differentiation, everything can be done uh, by, the, uh, by the machine itself uh, if the inputs are given in brief. So there, for example, there are other benefits. Uh, Varbit, there's another tool. Varbit's automatic speech recognition technology is used for real-time video captioning and transcription to save time and money. I mean, all, all of a sudden I find that when I see some webinar, if it is being spoken in ba English or Bangla, uh, sorry, Hindi or Bangla, there will be English subtitle automatically and immediately coming. Sometimes it's grammatically wrong also. That's fine. But at least the essence of it, the viewer who doesn't know that language in which the speaker is speaking gets to understand. So there are, um, you know, uh, several benefits that can be brought in, in general, through AI. Let me look at journalism. Now, technology powering journalism has been there from the start of the digital communication era. Today, AI accounts for almost 12% of the industry's functionalities, which will increase, which will increase over time. AI can assist human reporters in complex work like long form articles and investigative journalism. Lot of data can be you know, dug and brought out through the use of AI um, in particular. Let me give a concrete example. Few days earlier, I was writing a long piece on India, ASEAN economic and business relations. And while I was searching on Google, the usual content that I was getting is specific to one country or one issue, whereas I needed the overall picture in, in, in quite uh, some details. I actually got help from Chad GPT. Chad GPT gave me a 3,000 or 3,500 words uh, overview content, which gave me the basic 
bilateral and multilateral agreements and the current status, figures, facts of India and ASEAN nations business relations. It also gave the problems therein. Now I can build the story further through further research, talking to some experts to, uh, <coughs> to understand where will this relation go next? What are the current issues and challenges? What is required? AI can only look at the past. It cannot actually analyze necessarily to predict the future. Yes, there are some predictive benefits, uh, predictive features in some of the tools, but you need a human intelligence, a human analysis to understand the impact. And the past and the facts brought in by that use of chat GPT itself was useful for me. It brought down my three days labor into one day. Finally, I could produce the content, which is, was almost of around 4,000 words outline, uh, outcome in one single day. And this was plagiarism free. This was um, having past, present, and future, all aspects covered. This was having entire ASEAN area covered. Now, AI can save time by transcribing audio and video interviews. Many a time, we keep transcribing interviews physically, I mean, uh, through human efforts. Today, you need not do that. Uh, even to understand uh, an interview given in a foreign language in which I'm not aware of, to understand an interview in Latin language or Spanish language, I can just use AI. And I get the transcription in English, of which I can take the necessary quote. AI can identify so-called fake news and reduce its impact on readership. It can improve the journalistic processes and uh, surely reduce bias. There are also opinion that some of the AIs can increase bias of those who have created them, um, their opinion bias. But on the other hand, there are the, the opportunity or the possibility rather of human biases in news is very high. The use of AI can reduce uh, the, at least the quantum of the bias. So, uh, lex.page, AI text generation tool, one. Copy.ai, AI text generation tool again. Notion AI, similar to Canva Docs, the revamped Notion AI installed an AI assistant that can offer writing, editing suggestions, generate ideas. AI can today even generate new ideas for on which work can be done in journalism. Quillbot, I have already told, talked about it, repurpose.io, tool for automating workflows, good for auto-posting in social media. So uh, several, there are more that we can use. For example, if I have to make a three minutes video on myself, and if I write that story in such a manner that there are publicly identifiable uh, places, institutions, activities, everything, then, and put the text on flicky.ai or invid or even chat GPT, it will produce a three minutes video out of that text without using camera, without using any editing. They will take the existing videos and still pictures from the internet related to what I have spoken in that context. If it is about only emotions, if it is only about future, it won't be able to, it won't be able to produce the video. But if it is about my past and which is connected to publicly identifiable places, institutions and activities or events, it can easily make a video. Now I can change certain uh, certain portions of that later on. So while a quick uh, work is given by these uh, video producing or video churning platforms or tools, I can further edit it and make it to the, uh, to the right way that I would like to have the video in. So there are, uh, particularly in real time and short time places, this is very useful. Uh, AI tools in television, for example, DaVinci Resolve 16, uh, this does editing, color correction, VFX, motion graphics, all the tasks. Synthesia is an AI video creation platform with customizable avatars and automated lip sync. This is another very important, particularly when you are doing lip syncing. Um, uh, the shoot has been done at a different place and audio is being recorded at a different place. This really is supporting that. Rev's automated transcription software is another which has speech recognition technology. Stability AI is a company that uses artificial intelligence to detect and prevent online fraud and disinformation, particularly in any video production. So uh, even in television it's useful. In photography we know there are a lot uh, that can be used. Luminar Neo AI image editing software. Topaz Gigapixel AI increases the image resolution. If we have got an image which is of low res, can be increased. After shoot and image culling, uh, AI image culling. Adobe Photoshop, we know that, photo editing software with AI tools. 
at Photoshop CC that uh, that version. Remove .bg, remove backgrounds with AI as if it did, never existed. Some those things in the background. Generated dot photos or AI photos of people. AI generated photos of people. So there are many such tools. For example, in cinema, isotope neutron for audio mixing, runway for masking, color color lab dot AI for coloring. You know, many times you need to make color corrections. Deep dub dot AI for language dubs. Uh, dubbing into new different languages. Descript for text based video editing where text and videos both go together. Adobe Premiere Pro for social media video, we are aware of that. So uh, in cinema and film also we find amplifying creativity, bringing in uh, you know certain aspects or the fantasy or imagination being expressed through AI and through computer generated images. These are possible as we can see uh, in um, cinema as well. In radio and broadcasting, IVA is an AI powered online tool that lets you create soundtrack and theme music. I mean, people used to search theme music uh, so badly, so desperately in the past. M MuseNet, M U S E N E T, MuseNet, an interesting online tool that lets you combine different styles of music at the same time, sort of a uh, synthesis that you can do. Magenta is an open source TensorFlow based project by Google that lets you train a model on music and images and finally generate a new model out of it. Musico, uh, though still in the earlier stages, the company plans to do a multitude of innovation using AI in music. So it, there is possible to bring in AI in radio as well. AI in uh, PR, we, uh, we know about how NLG can create press releases and media reports, how uh, roughly written content can be completely rewritten through the use of AI in a minute, in a matter of a minute, how tonality can change in the press release, for example. AI can perform sentiment analysis on media and social posts, very important today in times of digital reputation management. AI can identify and extract information from various sources, speech to text, very easily possible. Lifelike speech and translate into multiple language can be done. Chatbots can be created to cater to media questions and such as. Similarly, several other, even on the same theme, multiple story angles can be created through the use of AI, whether it's um, chat uh, GPT or many other forms that we can. Facial recognition and image recognition can be done through uh, AI. That also is another important area. Uh, AI can monitor deep fake videos. Sometimes human eyes cannot identify these deep fake videos. In the end, I would like to say that it's not artificial intelligence that will replace the human intelligence. Yes, automation and AI will replace replicable work or repeatable work that humans have been doing below their intelligence actually. So uh, human intelligence mastering the use of artificial intelligence tools would actually dominate the scenario. Other humans will be dominated by a human being with uh, using AI. So it's important today to speed up your work, to have a quality life with quality time at your disposal to produce more at lesser time, we use, make use of AI tools. Whether it's writing, researching, uh, even for example, finding keywords for SEO optimized content writing or any other form. Integrating video, text and pictures together. In all these activities, decision making is with the man behind the machine. But the machine can quicken the process much faster than what human beings could have done or did do earlier. So it's important to make AI your slave, your friend, your servant, your partner, whatever you call, but not your master. It need not be your master. You master AI to produce content, to make uh, impact much stronger than what you would like to be, uh, what you were doing earlier. So AI is a great tool for better production, better productivity, and not necessarily a master who commands your life and, and replaces you in the long run. This is in the context of current uh, research in AI. I do not know what will happen 10 or 15 years later. I am not a crystal gazer. Thank you. Namaskar.